Hey, how's it going, people? This is Carlos, uh, represent Mad Lift. Uh, in this video, I'm gonna show you uh, how to train biceps. You know, why I train them and how I train them. Okay, uh, your biceps consider two muscles. This one right here, and this one right here. This one's for, you train this, this is for your thickness. Make your biceps thick, thick. And, oh, and uh, this right here is for your peak. And uh, that's what a lot of people like doing, just regular uh, barbell, straight belt, uh, barbell uh, curls. It targets both muscles. For me, I like to uh, target each muscle separately. That way uh, you can hit it harder, stronger, you know. Um, so in, in order to do that, to target the peak, your uh, outside bicep muscle, you're gonna have to do close grip. Any close grip, uh, dumbbells, barbells, uh, cables, as you're gonna see me doing right here in a minute. Anything close targets your uh, eye slot bicep, uh, get that peak on your bicep. Okay, for, for thickness, anything wide. So you can do a, a barbell, barbell wide, uh, dumbbells, cables, anything. It's just the difference is close and wide. Close, you target your peak. Wide, tar uh, you target the inside, the, thi uh, the thickness of your bicep. Like when you're closing, flexion, is all this. Now, if you're doing a rear like this, your peak. You know, like I said, barbell is good. Regular bar uh, shoulder width targets both muscles, but I like to uh, break it down. Just like the chest, you know, I showed you uh, my videos. When you do flies, flies target your whole chest outside to the inside. You're, you're doing this movement, this movement. Uh, like I said, I like to break it down. I like to target the outside first and the inside. Same thing as the biceps. Let me show you this exercise. Okay, weight and uh, rep range and sets. I like to go uh, kind of uh, real heavy to where I can do six to eight reps. Then I drop it and uh, uh, do as many as I can to failure get that pump but still uh, for my biceps uh, heavy works the best uh, my triceps uh, a little bit lighter the more reps works the best so you gotta figure out what works the best for your muscles uh, like I said uh, this, this is how I train my biceps get that stretch biceps with the vein is because uh, you're working that outside muscle. That outside muscle, that's where the vein goes through. You know? Alright, right, now we're working the inside, uh, you know, for thickness on your bicep. Now, uh, like I mentioned before, uh, you can do uh, uh, dumbbells, barbells, uh, cables. Right now we're doing this machine, the seated machine with the wide handles, get that wide grip, work that inside. Uh, 
rep range the same. Trying to go heavy, six to eight reps. Then drop it down to failure, get that blood flow, get the pump also. Uh, I like doing this because it, it, the key here to uh, really uh, tear up the muscle, you, you need to stretch it out. You know, so this is a good extra machine to, to stretch out my biceps. Uh, you gotta figure out yourself, you know, try different things and uh, find which one's the best one to really stretch that muscle out. Like on the chest, you know, flies are real good because it stretches your, your chest all the way out. So it's tearing, you're stretching your whole muscle. That way it can, uh, it can rebuild, you know, get stronger and bigger. Uh, that's what, you know, that's what you're trying to do, stretch the muscle out. So that's why heavy, heavy weight is real good. It, 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 it pulls you away, you know, all the muscles that stretch them out. You know, but uh, I always try to incorporate uh, light weight also to get that blood flow and get blood in there, you know. So uh, here we go, let me show you. Now don't fucking half ass it like, like a lot of people I see, you know, they just do it like this. I mean, yeah, you're not really working it, you're just moving the weight, you know, up and down, up and down from one one point to another point. I mean, you know, if you ain't making no fucking mad faces and shit like that, you really ain't working, you know, you need to put some effort into it and shit. You know, give it everything you got. And I guarantee you, you'll, you'll, you'll do about an hour, an hour and a half workout. So that's it, you're fucking done. Here we go. Even higher. You know, so, like, uh, in order to do that, we're gonna do some hammer curls. Because when you do hammer curls, you're, you're, you're squeezing this. You really, you're working this a little bit, but not too much. You're working the, the little ball. I don't know what they call it, but you work that, and you work right here. Now, if you haven't done it before, uh, you're gonna feel it a lot right here. Because what you're doing, you're squeezing, you're squeezing this, and you're squeezing this, just like this, just like this. Show you. Once again, I like using this because it's stretching my arms out. And remember, stretch is good. The more stretches, it's tearing it up.
drop it. Thank you. 